Admiral says we can trade. Let's. I might have just the look. Aloy, when we saw the Metal Devil rise from the hills, it was as if the time of ashes had come again. To think that two of you defeated it by yourselves, it, it, it staggers the imagination. And that's not even your most important feat, as far as I'm concerned. Thank you for returning our lost brothers and sisters. What else can I say but that we are in your debt? All I ask is that you give my friend here the credit she deserves for all the risks she took. I would have it no other way. Is he gonna try to take your focus? I was wondering the same thing. Well, he can't. You're gonna need it. I'll show you why. Seika, meet Alva. The two of you will need to coordinate in order to reunite the expedition. <laughs> Beta briefed me already. I'm so glad to see you guys. You should have heard the cheer that went up when I told the others here in Landfall that your half of the fleet survived. To find her Alva, it's an honor. Likewise. Well, we can chat about all the details later. For now, shouldn't you two be celebrating the fact that you just took down a Zenith and a Horus? <sighs> Come on. Away with you. Yeah, to be honest, I'm uh, pretty terrible at celebrating. I don't even know where to begin. Well, I'm a sailor, so it usually starts with alcohol. I think we have some bilge blaze. You know, spirits distilled from whatever hasn't spoiled in the ship's stores. Oh, you make it sound so good. Yeah, it's not really for beginners, so you get a pass this time. Okay. <laughs> But there is something I wanted to talk to you about. Meet me back where we first met when you can, okay? Okay, I'll see you there. So, Seika wants to talk. It's good. And I, I know I need to move on soon, but I'm- taught by a master artist. I'm not really ready to say goodbye to her just yet. Before I find her, maybe I should look for her sister around the settlement just to see how she's holding up. Wanna grab a drink with? Looks like some of the clan from Landry's bunker came back. I'm glad they came to their senses. Hi, Kina. I'm Aloy. We didn't get properly introduced before. Of course. Seika told me about everything you did to bring me back. You must think I'm such a fool. No. Uh, I keep replaying everything in my mind, and I still can't understand how I could have been so wrong. When Walter appeared to us, he really did seem divine. Well, he had a lot of experience manipulating people. Centuries, really. He promised a whole new world, with me at his side. To think it was all a lie, and I fell for it. Look, you've been through a lot. I'm sure it will take you some time to work through it. Just try to remember that Seika's been through a lot too, okay? She risked exile to find you, not to mention death. And I abandoned her. I don't know if she'll ever forgive me. She will. But you might have to work for it a little. I'll do my best. Good luck, Kina.
Nothing caught your eye. So, Snake is waiting for me where we first met. There's no reason to be nervous. Right? Yeah. Right. There she is. You must feel pretty good. Got your sister back, your people. What's next for the woman of the hour? You're the one who ripped apart a metal devil from the inside. I think you should get a bit of credit, too. Mm, maybe a little. <laughs> As for what's next, the Admiral's going to need my help to reunite our half of the expedition with Alva up north. And after that, I don't know. I don't think things will ever be the same with my sister or my people. You're not going to sail back with him? I want to see home again. Someday. But things have changed. The Quen don't know what to do with me, and I don't know where I fit in. I guess you know what that's like. <sighs> yeah. For a long time, I hated the idea of home. For me, it meant where I grew up, where I wasn't wanted. But the thing is, the last few months, I've realized that home isn't really a place at all. It's more like the people I want to be with. I like that. And, well, more and more, I've been thinking, I want to be with you. And I was hoping that you felt the same way. And what if I do? I think I know how to handle it. enough to know how you feel. I don't know when I'm gonna see you again. Me either. But no matter what happens, just don't forget about me. Okay?
Ventura's help, I've managed to decrypt a part of the data you sent. Suffice it to say, we have much to discuss. Moving back to the base. Welcome back, Aloy. You're back. And after mingling with the Quen, I imagine that you're eager for some intelligent conversation. There are some pretty special people among the Quen. If you dropped down to Earth once in a while and did a little mingling yourself, you might realize that. I have more important matters to deal with. Like the data you recovered from Londra. You found a lead. Indeed. A log entry he wrote shortly after the Zeniths escaped the destruction of their colony. I'll send it to you. There is much to unpack, but most importantly, Londra theorizes about how Nemesis might be counted. His musings include a list of 21st century corporations that manufactured state-of-the-art weapon systems. It's possible that one of these weapons could be deployed against the enemy. I'll, I'll have to investigate each company, of course, locate their facilities, unearth their technologies, determine their efficacy, and whether they can be brought back online. All by yourself, huh? Well... Don't get me wrong, I'm glad you found something that can help. But I've been wondering why you stayed behind with us. It's the challenge, isn't it? The chance to prove you've got the biggest brain of all. My reasons are mine alone. And that's why you'll always be alone. Aloy, Nemesis is not a threat that can be defeated single-handedly. I am grateful for your extraordinary contributions. Oh, silence. We might thaw that icy heart of yours yet. Now let's see what he found. Collins is right. Londra's thoughts could really help us in the fight against Nemesis. 